shove in a replacement unit. If your engine breaks down, they pull out the engine, shove in a courtesy engine, and you take off. Why hold up the whole car when you need a battery job? If you did that in the Army Air Force, you couldn't <laughs> operate at all. Your society is really comprised of very stupid men. Let me say it again. All politicians, all lawyers, all businessmen will be phased out. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be a revolution. You don't need it. Our society cannot be maintained by this type of incompetency. It was great, the free enterprise system, about 35 years ago. That was the last of its usefulness. Now we've got to change our way of thinking or perish. Our system is dying. If Nixon remains in, it'll die in his lap. If a liberal group gets in, the society will fall. Our cities are going broke. We don't have the money nor the type of mentality required to save our society in politics or government. I am not your enemy. I am not trying to destroy things. I do not believe in revolution. I believe that ideas must be presented to American people. They have to make the decision. Now, uh, Dr. Fresco is in the local phone book, am I correct? Yes. Is that the number of people would yes. call the contacts? It's F-R-E-S-C-O, uh, Dr. Jacques Fresco. And uh, we're going to do some more with you, because you're... You know what I'd like to do one day? There's a hell of a lot on social yeah. I want to a do special. one on human behavior. No, human something. behavior. How about a human behaviorist? And how about some engineers? You know, kind let's, of, what if great. I can get a guy from General Love Motors? Love right? It. An engineer of a car. Love it. Get me the biggest establishment people you can get hold of. I'd love them. Bankers, ecologists, economists. I can't use the kind of language I'd like to use on TV, but I'd like to talk to them. I'd like to blow it up for you to understand it. Like the money system now, the whole idea of devaluation. Nobody knows what it's all about. They all think it's very complicated. Actually, it's very simple. I'll tell you what it is if I have the time in a nutshell. What's going on? If an island like Haiti had about several hundred million dollars in assets, but they went on, they printed more money than they had things to back it up or gold, then that money has no value. If a little island, say like St. Croix, printed lots of money and just came to the United States to try to buy things, they ran their printing presses night and day, the money is not back. That's why it doesn't have anything. Your whole banking system is utterly corrupt. Your lending institutions have loused up the system, but there's nobody out there telling you what's wrong with it. So it looks okay to you. I'm not afraid of anybody. I don't work for anyone. No one can discharge me. I have no boss. The only thing that can happen to me is I can be put in prison. Well, there are many books to write. In other words, there are many things to be done. I am not afraid. I am afraid to live in the society we live in today. The direction we're moving in gives us 25 years for a total environmental destruction. We have seven years to mass starvation. We don't have much time. The value of a nation dollar value. America's value, uh, the value of the dollar is not based on gold reserve. The value of the dollar is based on faith in this country, right? You and its output, isn't it? You That's can't, the truth. You can't build a nation on faith. It has to be backed up by resources. Well, I mean, but if the French respect no. the dollar, it's backed by respect for American resources. Respect, it only means that it serves France in some useful way. A nation's interest in any other nation is always self-interest. When we send representatives to any other country, our self-interest is first. Whatever happens to that nation is secondary. We have nothing but utter materialism which dominates our society today. You're talking about all countries? Yes, all countries. The science is socio-cyberneering. The uh, man behind it is Dr. Jacques Fresco. I'm Larry King.